Greetings everybody, I'm Redskittle1000, back once again for more Super Mario 64 DS. Previously, we started Cool Cool Mountain. There was a bit of oops here and there, but we managed to get some stars, and uh, now we're gonna get a couple more. We can't actually finish this world, the last star in the level is obtained with a character we don't have yet, but we can at least get stars 5 and 6. Now, we're going on to star 5. So Snowman's lost his head. This is one of the stars that you actually have to click on the specific mission for. Unless you click on this star, unless you click directly on the Snowman's Lost His Head star, you can't actually get the Snowman's Lost His Head star. Which, you know, most stars you can actually get from, like, other missions, but this star you can't. And that's because on any other mission, this snowball is not here. I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anybody in need of a good body? Please! I'll follow you if you do. So yes, now we have, well, Snowman's lots to say. What we want to do is we're going to talk to that guy, and then he'll start rolling. And what we want to do is slide ahead in front of him. We want to not fall off the edge. And get over to this guy. Oh no! Talk about out-of-body experiences! My body has melted away! Have you run into any headhunters lately? I could sure use a new body! Brr! My face might freeze like this! So yes, so we just do that. Oh shit, nope, that's not good. Okay, good, it still worked. So yeah, what you want to do is just stand, stand behind the snowman's head and then the snowball will roll and as long as it hits the pedestal, it'll go under the snowman, you'll be all good. God damn it, phone. Why do you have to keep making appearances in my videos? Dear lord, no one cares. Alright. Oh well, now that we've silenced phone, my interrupting guest star. Perfect, what a great new body. Here, this is a present for you, it's sure to warm you up. Yes. Like I said, you have to click on the Snowman Plus His Head Star to get this one. You can't get it in another mission like you can most other stars. Okay, perfect. Now, one more star we can grab at the moment in this level. Mario Super Wall Kick. In the N64, this was actually the star was just called Wall Kicks Will Work. But they changed it to Mario Super Wall Kick. Sort of, I guess, to say that Mario is the only one who can wall kick, so make sure you use Mario. So, yes, you do need Mario for this level. You can probably do it with another character, we'll unlock later, but, you know, they intend for you to use Mario and use the wall kick. Now, speaking of intended ways to do things, I'm actually going to get down to this little area in the non intended way. What you're supposed to do is take the little el wooden elevator that's near the bottom of the stage, go upwards, um, and on the way, there's a little bob on, red bob on an island that'll unlock the cannon, and then you use the cannon to get over here. But, I'm going to, as you can see, I just jumped off the start of the level there, if I backflip here, and aim forward, I can just land straight here. I'll take a lot of damage, but we have a heart, so it doesn't matter. And that's just the easy way to get down here, like, that's a super simple way, no risky elevator, no cannon shots, just... Super easy, super simple, you're down here. And then there's a matter of getting up here. I think you're supposed to um, wall jump up the wall to the left, but I've, but I've practiced this and I have t trouble doing that. So I just sort of do it like this. You know, you could probably get a, I'm, you know, because there's a wall like right there. I think that's the one you're supposed to wall jump off. But I've had difficulty doing that. It might just be my control set up, but... Yeah. But, yep. No real troubles. Get a star. Super easy. And we're done with Cool Cool Mountain for now. There's my super wall kick. It's a very super wall kick. I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's just go onwards, because apparently I can't even climb stairs anymore. So, um, yes, even though I believe we can actually access the fifth world in the game, but 
I'm gonna go fight the first boss, or the first Bowser fight at the moment. I'm just gonna go fight that, because that's how I usually do things. Usually do the first four worlds, then go fight Bowser. The first Bowser. There's Peach! There's Peach! There's Bowser. Oops. Wahahaha! <laughs> you stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend, watch your step. Aw, Bowser's our friend. He likes us. Yeah, probably not. Anyway, um, so this is the very Bowser stage. This is called Bowser in the Dark World. Shit. Um, and in these Bowser stages, there are two secret stars to get. In the N64 version, there was just one, that being the red coin star. But in the, um, DS version, they added, um, switch stars to each of the Bowser stages. So now we have to collect red coins and a switch star. And the thing with these secret stars is, once you collect them, they don't take you out of the level. So, yeah, we can just collect both and then go on to Bowser. That's what we're going to be doing. Because I believe I've stated this, this will be a full 150 star playthrough, which means I'll be getting all the secret stars, and well, all that jazz. Just being silent, probably because there's nothing to say. What is there to talk about? Oh, oh shoot, nearly dying, there's something. I don't know what's been going on. Not too much lately. It's been I've been pretty pretty chill here in um here at Res in Melbourne. Like I'm not studying at the moment. But yeah, so things have been pretty relaxing. I guess one thing I could mention, it's my birthday soon. Yay! Birthdays! Although I'm really not really doing anything for my birthday, it's just <laughs> one thing I'd like to do is get that coin. But um yeah, I'm not really doing anything for my birthday, just because well, I'll be here here at Res, so... But yeah, I'll be, uh, if anyone interested, I'll be 20 years old! Whew! 20, man! We've been on this damn planet for two decades! So while there are a bunch of things about this planet that, you know, kind of irritate me, there are a lot of things I like. Look, namely, Nintendo. You know? The, co the company that made the game I'm playing right now, and the games that I play on a regular basis. You know, that company. So yeah. I guess I, I do have a lot to be thankful for! Or, 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 no, 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 I was not expecting that to happen. Oops, that was an oops. Yes, I have these platforms. There's a red bomb bomb, um, they'll, he'll tell you... What the, what the, is that just a coin? Yeah, I saw something, I'm like, is that a, like a star? There shouldn't be a star there, but no, it's just a coin. Calm yourself! Or at least calm yourself, myself. And we're almost got all the red coins. Just gonna be careful because the last red coins down here. Oh, ooh, landed straight on it. Nice. All right. Boing. Let's get rid of Goomba. Not like that. Why do I have? Why do I have such trouble punching Goombas? And I think it's just my controls. Come on! Why can't I punch Goombas in this game? I don't know. It's ridiculous, man. I can punch some Goombas. Alright. Boing, boing, boing! Let's grab our red coin star. Yes. Wow, 35 stars already? And we haven't even fought Bowser. That's pretty insane. And now here's the switch star. Let's go and grab. We actually have two switches going. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see me die. Because I totally should have changed my camera angle, because depth perception is not my friend. That's why I'm such a paranoid when I, That's why I'm so paranoid when I'm driving. It's just because depth perception, man. But we did get the red coin star, and that did save, so we don't need to worry about getting red coins. So really, all we have to do is get back up there as fast as possible. Which we can do using this. So here we have um, Mario's Power Flower. Each character has a Power Flower ability, um, and this is Mario's. So not all boxes will contain wing caps. Some of them will contain Power Flowers, which each character has a different ability. 
like I said before. And Mario's is, um... Well, as you can see here, he's floating with pea balloon. I believe that was in a Super Mario World that he could do that. I haven't actually played Super Mario World, so, um... But, yeah. I believe, like, one of the special stages, he could use, like, a, the pea balloon and float like that. Yeah, that just say that can just help you get to like the end of the stage super quickly. So if you're not worrying about the red coins, kaboom. So yeah, with a little better um camera angle this time. There we go. Yeah, you might have heard like this timers go weird, but that's just because one time was ending. God flippin' damn it! That, that Goomba screwed me up. You know, he he put the pressure on. Jeez, Goombas, when did you become lethal? Anyway, quick cut. Okay, let's see if we have a little more luck this time. What I usually do is I usually run down here, get on this platform, jump up here, jump up here, and we got it. Wow. I was hoping that I was I practiced getting this star and it didn't give me too much trouble, but you know, I guess it's the LP curse. <laughs> you do good off screen, and then as soon as you hit that record button, shit just does not go your way. But hey, we did it. We got our two stars. Now we'll see if we can actually, now we'll see if we can actually fight Bowser. I did practice this as well, and I, I did manage to get it, but I don't know, sometimes I had trouble grabbing his tail, so we'll see. Like I said, I did play this a lot, like on the actual DS, but with the control setup I have now, it's a bit tougher. But yeah, I think we can still do Ow. I say as I run head first and twice into Bowser. But now he's gonna stop the fire, which means we can have an open shot at him. And just rotate the camera. Oh yeah, I think if the game wants you to use the touch screen to um circle him around. But I just prefer to um Um use just the arrow keys, like at least on my control setup. And so we can swing him, and we can throw him, just like that. So yeah, that went pretty well. I did goof a bit at the start, but no problems. Ugh, I was a bit careless. This is not what I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars. And I still have Peach. <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not done with you yet, but I'll let you go. For now. You'll pay for this. Later. <laughs> Alright, and there's the key. That'll unlock the basement. There, I got it! Yay! That is the uh, legs in the ground glitch. If you backflip and then ground pound onto a key, or I believe it also works with a star, you sometimes Mario or whatever characters you're using, their legs will be stuck in the ground. No idea why, but it's just a funny little visual glitch that is super is pretty simple to pull off. Although I don't think it happens every time. So. There we go. But there we go, Bowser in the Dark World has been defeated, and we've gotten both the secret stars, so we can leave that behind. We can go onward. Now, the door that the key unlocks is right down here. Also, I had a voice crack when I said door. I was like, door! But yes, we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to go out here. And here is the courtyard. Anyway, we have some booze. No, not some alcohol. Some boo ghosts. And some of them contain red coins. So yes, there is a secret star available if you get all eight red coins from the boos. Not all boos have coins. Red coins. Well, all boos have coins. Except the big one. Not all of them have red coins. But we want to get the ones that do have red coins. And that'll give us a secret star. This star was not in the uh, N64 version. There was actually no secret star in the castle courtyard in the 64 version. Uh, well, well, there is actually this one and another one, which I'll be getting, well, after this one. But yeah, just in the DS version, they added a couple secret stars out here because they doubled the amount of secret stars in this game, which is quite interesting. Which I guess is just to add a little extra content, which I have no problem with. I think it's a bit weird because, like, so many Mario games just have 120, like, 
you know, Mario 64 on N64 has 120, Mario Sunshine has 120 shines, Mario Galaxy has 120 stars, well, technically 121, but that 121st star is sort of like a special star. And then there's Galaxy 2, which sort of has like 120 stars, and then you get to the green star, so it's like, it seems like the 120 is like a big number for Nintendo, but for the DS remake of Super Mario 64, they're just like, we're gonna add 30 more, because we want to. But hey, I don't really have a problem with that. So here we have a little secret area. This also was not in the 64 version. This is DS exclusive. And once again, like in a uh, bomb on battlefield, we'll be finding five secret stars. I meant to dive there. Oh no. When I practiced this, I was having trouble diving into Goombas. Look at hell, man. But no, I think it's this guy that has the stuff. No, I think it was that first guy, but I just didn't notice it pop out. I didn't hear the jingle, I don't think. Might have got interrupted by the um, jingle of me collecting the one I dropped. That's that's likely. Get the damn star! Okay, we go! And then we have another star. This one's just in this block. Set. Now... Let's go and grab the fourth one, which I believe is in this Goomba. Right there. Right on. Right there. Right on. And for the fifth one, we are going to spend the food. Nope. Nope, nope. We're still okay. We're still okay. And we got it. Good, 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 good. It's a Chuck-ya! It's a Chuck-ya! And I'm still on the grate. There we go. I think that's our first instance of seeing that enemy. That is, well, like I said, it's a Chuck-ya. What chuck do, it's pretty much in their name. They Chuck-ya. They'll pick you up, and they'll throw you. I actually got a pretty lucky throw you there. You didn't actually throw me off the um, grating. Although if he did, there's actually another way up there. So we could have just taken that and avoided him completely. That's the only secret star, though. There's only one in that little area. There's only one from the booze. And, uh, we got time in the episode, so I think I might, um, start the, uh, get the first, start first, oh, wow, I'm not, uh, just... Yeah, let me just get some coins. Let's me get out of these coins. So I'll get, I'll start the fifth world in the game. You may be asking, where's the fifth world in the game? And what's this big, what's the deal with this big boo? Well, he's housing the fifth world in the game. Although, every, everyone watching this probably already knew that. But, you know, just in case there's someone out there who's never seen this game before and is like, Whoa, that's awesome! Might as well, uh, mention it. But, this is the fifth world in the game, Big Boo's Heart. We're going to go on a ghost hunt. We're on a baby hunt! Don't think we don't know how to weed them out! Yeah! Ah, it's a funny bad movie. I used to have that on DVD. Then I lent it to a friend. She never gave it back. And yes. So the objective of this level is to kill five boos. Once you do big boo up here. You get two by going back there. And then the other three you'll find just you need to go through the match in the front door. Enter the front door. There we go. Whoa. No. Come on, yeah, get over here. Good. Now there's this bridge. I don't trust myself on this bridge, but Geronimo! Hey, I did it. Yay. I think bridge can be tough. If you fall in this room or that previous room, you don't actually die, but you go to a uh, sort of an underground section of the level. And it takes quite a while to get back up back to the mansion, so it can be very annoying. I just go straight here. And boom! Here comes the master of tariff. The type the master of tariff. Wow. Just just wow. I don't I don't even know what to say to that. Just wow. Must be the heat getting to me. It's a pretty hot day today. And again, it's summer in Australia, what do you expect? Yep, here's a big boo. You can either get behind him and punch him three times, but I just find ground pounds work. 
Like these cram pants. Star! Say, if you know where the ghosts are, it's a pretty quick and easy star. And then the st stairs will raise, and these stairs will stay raised in all later stars, allowing to access these upper rooms. I believe it is possible to get up here even without the stairs, but just with the controls I'm using, I don't trust myself to be able to do that. And besides, we need to be getting all the stars anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But yes, uh, that's going to, uh, I believe I'm going to uh, call it there for this episode of Super Mario 64 DS. We got quite a bit done. We uh, got, we finished up Cuckoo Mountain for now, at least all the stars we can get at the moment. Uh, we beat Bowser, got some secret stars, and even started Big Boo's Haunt, so I'd say that's pretty damn productive. So yes, uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been Red Scooter 1000 this has been Super Mario 64 DS, and in the next episode, we will tackle the rest of the stars in Big Boo's Haunt. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next illusion.